This is Joe Biden. During the 2020 presidential campaign, Biden criticized President Trump for supposedly not doing enough to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Here's Biden on October 30th, 2020. And the thing that bothers me the most was a president who gave up. Yet last week when I debated the president, he said, quote, we're rounding the corner. It's going away. We're learning to live with it. Now for context, let's play the clip that Biden is referring to. It will go away, and as I say, we're rounding the turn, we're rounding the corner, it's going away. Now while it's possible COVID will eventually go away, it's probably here to stay in one form or another. And Trump saying that we were rounding the corner was way too optimistic, and also very wrong, considering the cases were steadily rising. And I say we're learning to live with it. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. He has the <laughs> he has the ability to lock himself up. I don't know. He's obviously made a lot of money someplace, but he has this thing about living in a basement. People can't do that. Here, Trump was very right. And at the time, the vaccine wasn't available. And lockdowns, restrictions on businesses, and local mask mandates weren't really preventing the spread of anything. And keeping the economy closed down was not and is not a viable option. Now, you can say Trump was wrong on some things, and that's more than fair. But ultimately, Biden would be wronger. What I would say is I'm going to shut down the virus, not the country. So Biden said that he was going to shut down a virus that was spreading with no end in sight, based on the following plan. Look, I put in place a plan with this pandemic responsibly. I set it out back in May and then again in June and in July. The way we can bring this country together around testing, tracing, masking. Nope. There hasn't been a country on the planet that has been able to test, trace, or mask its way out of the pandemic. Furthermore, there's doubt that contact tracing can even work in a population with hundreds of millions of people on a virus with such a wide community spread. Yet, despite his dubious plan, Biden kept over-promising anyway. I'm going to shut down the virus. I'm going to shut down the virus. I'm going to shut down the virus. As I said before, I'll shut down the virus. So clearly, Biden was trying to paint himself as more competent than Trump, which is fine, I guess. But then he said things like this. If the president had done his job, had done his job from the beginning, all the people would still be alive. What? All the people, I'm not making this up, just look at the data. Look at the data. Actually, he was making it up. And yet, no one really called him out on it. I know you're shocked. And of course, Joe Biden couldn't actually provide data to back up this outrageous claim, let alone tell you what could have been done differently from the beginning. <laughs> but whatever, he's the only one that can save us now. I've said it before. I'm going to shut down the virus. Jump to July 2021, where Biden was leading the fight against the virus. COVID cases were down, COVID deaths were down, and everyone was saving 16 cents on their holiday barbecue. Man, what a time to be alive. But instead of being cautiously optimistic, Biden ignored the science because he really wanted that 4th of July photo op. We're closer than ever to declaring our independence from a deadly virus. And so that there is no ambiguity here, his speech was titled Celebrating Independence Day and Independence from COVID-19. In other words, Biden is doing exactly what he complained about Trump doing. We're rounding the turn, we're rounding the corner, it's going away. We're closer than ever to declaring our independence from a deadly virus. That's the same thing, Joe. Hypocrite much? Skip to 2021, where we haven't quite gained our independence from COVID-19, and where Biden addressed the discovery of the new Omicron variant. I want to take a few moments to talk about the new COVID variant. It's called the Omicron. Travel restrictions can slow the speed of Omicron. The Delta variants, and now the Omicron variant. Yeah, it's not Omicron, Joe. It's Omicron. Omicron. <laughs> you got this, Joe. And we move forward now in the face of the Omicron variant as well. Please wear your mask when you're indoors, in public settings, around other people. 
It protects you. It protects those around you. Now, let's talk about masks for a minute, because during the 2020 campaign, Biden would constantly attack Trump over the fact that in most cases, he wouldn't wear a mask on camera or at a public event. The president doesn't wear one, so why would anybody Correct. need one? And he doesn't wear a mask, and he doesn't think he's... I mean, come on. Now, you might have noticed that Biden is complaining about Trump not wearing a mask while he himself is not wearing a mask. I mean, this is from a guy who started a speech at a church in Delaware by pulling his mask under his chin and proceeded to walk up and down the aisles for nine minutes before he inadvertently reminded himself that he was supposed to keep his mask on. I've kind of had the, the mask pulled off. Uh-huh. <coughs> Ugh. And this is the same genius who wore a mask during a rally in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 35 degree weather in an open airplane hangar in front of an audience numbering in the dozen. And when I say he was wearing a mask, I mean it very loosely because Biden's mask kept slipping down over his nose and mouth over and over and over again. Folks, look, I'm used to bullies. Tell you what, my dad used to have an expression. He said, it is what it is. But once again, let's not forget that during this pandemic, people aren't really dying from COVID, they're dying for other things. Donald Trump thinks you're not gonna see a penny of your taxes go up. We're gonna work it out. And guess what? The only thing that can tear America apart is your mom, dad, brother, sister, neighbor. So let's be careful here. And Biden had to pull his mask back up 97 times. A mask that he didn't even need to be wearing. And if he legitimately thought that he should be wearing a mask at that moment, did he actually think that a mask that's slipping down every 20 seconds is effective in any way? 81 million votes, guys. And you know what's less effective than not wearing a mask that doesn't fit properly? Not wearing a mask at all. Because the weekend that the new Omicron variant premiered, Biden was in Nantucket. And when the press asked him about the new variant, he immediately ripped off his mask to speak. And for clarity, he was standing just a few feet in front of reporters. <coughs> and, um... Later that evening, Biden was spotted shopping without a mask in a crowded store that had a giant sign in the door that states that face coverings are required. And that's so weird because I was told by Joe Biden himself that you're not a real American if you don't wear your mask. This isn't a political statement of us wearing these masks. For God's sake, it's a patriotic duty. The reason you're wearing the mask is not to save yourself, but to save your neighbor, the person across from you, the person who you're next to. Obviously, there's some rules for thee, not for me malarkey going on. So let's ask White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki about it. I think you see the American people and all of you see the president wearing a mask every time he comes out to an event, when he's sitting in meetings. <laughs> no, Red, we don't. Not even close. Take, for example, the White House Thanksgiving event. I pardon you this Thanksgiving. Go ahead, say something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Afterwards, Joe Biden milled around the crowd, getting up close and personal, as only Joe Biden can. Where's the mask, Jen? In fact, where's your mask, Jen? Days later, Biden greeted troops at a Coast Guard station in Nantucket without a mask. Where's the mask, Jen? And then there's this infamous video of Joe Biden greeting Terry McAuliffe supporters, where a maskless Joe Biden spews saliva all over a woman in the crowd. Where's the mask, Jen? And moments after she proclaimed that Biden wears masks when he's sitting in meetings, Biden sat in a meeting not wearing a mask. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Please wear your mask when you're indoors, in public settings, around other people. It protects you, it protects those around you. And finally, during his last presidential debate, Joe Biden said the following. We're in a situation where there are a thousand deaths a day now, a thousand deaths a day. Anyone who's responsible for that many deaths 
should not remain as president of the United States of America. So Biden has had more tools at his disposal than Trump ever had, including several vaccines which exist because of Operation Warp Speed. And yet, more than 10 months into his presidency, Joe Biden is currently in a situation where there are over 8,000 deaths a day, and he can't blame it on Trump anymore. So by Joe Biden's own standard, Joe Biden should not remain as president of the United States of America. And on that note, thanks for watching, sharing, and slamming that like button. Be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel, and hope to see you next time, if there is next time.